everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back with The Sims 4 with another speed build video. We are doing a jungle getaway. I really didn't know exactly what I was going into. Like, I didn't know what I wanted to do specifically. I just knew that I wanted to do a house on stilts, on pillars. Um, so I, I started with that and I was like, all right, I had a lot of trouble with it. I had a lot of trouble. So you'll see me struggling here for probably the first, uh, I don't know, two minutes on this video, just trying to get it to work. Um, there were some instances where the room wouldn't be considered a room where the things just weren't connecting. It was just like, it was just very pesky. <laughs> And uh, then I ended up getting it to work in the end, spoiler alert. It's just a lot of struggling. So before, I mean, like I said, I didn't really have a huge plan. I wanted to do a few different builds um, with a few different ideas, but I think I, at some point in this struggle, decided to combine this and I was like, all right, I'm gonna make, cause I was kind of like going for like a woody, like tree house-esque kind of thing. But then I was like, no, but yeah, like at the same time, I was like, I'm going to take another idea I had for a different build, which was like a little canal, like a little, I guess I could say river, like a little stream coming through the exact center diagonal of this lot. So I was like, that's what I could do for underneath because I wasn't thinking about, about doing like just the whole thing was going to be on water, but I was like, I don't know, that might be too much water. And then I was also thinking about doing like puddles, if you will, like little, little lakes, not lakes, but you know what I mean? Just like little sections with water in them but then I decided yes I'm gonna do I'm gonna add in that canal I'm gonna call it a canal I don't even know if that's technically what it would be a little river I'm gonna call it a river I guess stream stream maybe would be the better word because it's not like it's not a river it's not like rushing water anyway technicalities <laughs> Also, here I am again with the bay window situation and I think I ended up taking that out because I just didn't it just didn't work with this. It looked too, too like a different styled house with that with the specific roof, so I just took that out in the end. But anyway, yeah, don't worry. I will delete the entire room underneath. It just was like giving me a lot of trouble, so I decided to just build a roof and make that a second story and then change it later. And uh, obviously I should have put a fence. I did put a fence around this in my defense, but in my defense, uh, it is it is a little bit of a small fence, a little bit of a hazard, but we're not gonna talk about it. We're just, we're just gonna assume that people aren't gonna fall if children are not living here. Although I do make a children's bedroom, so <laughs> children will be, um, I, I don't know, it's fine. Everybody knows better. We're not gonna fall off the edge. I'd like to think like the balcony in the back, the little bistro balcony that I made, it's, it's, that's what they're gonna, they're, that's where they're gonna be hanging out the most. They're not gonna be hanging out on the platform as much maybe, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so here's where I decided to finally change that and I didn't know what I wanted to change it to. I did a lot of struggling with this build, probably because I didn't come in with any plans except for the fact that I wanted it to be in the air. So <laughs> next time I know. Um, don't uh, go in blind without any plans unless, you know, it's part of a challenge or something. Uh, the roof, I was going to do this jungle adventure roof. Because at some point here, once I decided I was doing, like, the little river through it, I was like, alright, we'll do jungle theme. Um, especially since, you know, I kind of wanted to go with, like, a tree-esque house. A tree, tree, I wanted, I should say tree house, but I, it's a tree-esque house. Uh, I could have... I just decided, you know what, we have a jungle adventures pack and it would give me a lot of opportunities to use those items. Um, this was going to be a greenhouse, fun fact, that little jet out there that I just tried to put a glass roof on, but I knew the glass roof wasn't gonna work because of it, the type of roof, it, the other roof goes through it. It just didn't look good. So I, spoiler alert, ended up making it in a bathroom instead anyway. And it, I think that worked out for the best. Like they didn't really need a greenhouse. They literally could just go in the yard and do whatever they want. But here I'm making like the little stream, river, canal, whatever we want to call it. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed making this. This was probably my favorite thing that I've done in a build in a very long time. Because, you know, I obviously cover it with a lot of jungly plants and just looks so good. I don't know. I think it's the first time me really going crazy with the custom pool tool. Wow, that's interesting to say. Pool tool. <laughs> but it really was. Like, I usually make 
even pools like squares and octagons and it's the things with sides and it just i would never really made a crazy pool i don't think anyway not that i can recall anyway here i am struggling trying to find a bathroom because at this point i hadn't decided if that was going to be a bathroom or not yet so i'm trying to add in a little bathroom there and i'm like but i should make this into a two bedroom i shouldn't make it in one bedroom because there's too much room and then i was just going back and forth and back and forth and i was like you know i'll just make that one over there into a bathroom and it worked. <laughs> and then I made two rooms. I made a kid's room and an adult room, which I wasn't going to make a kid's room, but it just ended up happening that way. I was just kind of going to make a general, like, just in case this was a vacation home, if you wanted to place this in, like, where the jungle is, if you wanted to do that, you could just have them visit or whatever. But it's kind of, it's also more so lived in. I think it's a happy medium where, you know, it does look like it's lived in, and it also looks like you could just stop by and you could say, hey, and chill for a while. <laughs> Anyway, I think, yeah, I ended up making, I think, yeah, this is the bathroom, and then we have the two bedrooms, which took me a while to wallpaper, which I knew I wanted to use the leaf wallpaper, because it's one of my favorite wallpapers in this game, <laughs> but I knew it'd be a struggle, especially matching those woods, and I was just like, you know what, who cares, like, I don't care, and then having a wallpaper for the second bedroom was really annoying, because I didn't want it to match exactly, and I also didn't want it to be plain because the other one was wallpapered. So it was just like, it was just, it was just a conf conflict for me. And uh, then this whole bathroom situation. I think the bathroom ended up turning out to be one of my favorite bathrooms. I'm not going to lie. I really like it. It has a wood and stone theme, which just, it just turned out pretty great. And I, I'm very happy with at least the bathroom. <laughs> so at least I have that going for me. Uh, and I wasn't, it's just, it's just a surprise how this turned out. And then like, you look through the windows, you're like, wow, people here just like really see you going to the bathroom. But like, it's cool because you're like one with nature when you're going in the bathroom, you know? <laughs> like, why not? <laughs> That's the whole point of this whole, like, little house. Like, you're just, it's not meant for the suburban life. It's just, you know. Anyway. <laughs> There's that wall over there that was super plain. I think I ended up, yeah, I put a towel rack there. I was like, geez. I think I go back, oh no, I'm, I was gonna say I was going back to the wallpaper over here. But I think I just, I shuffled through. Like, so, it just, it just wasn't working. So I was trying to, at one point, use the Jungle Adventures ones, and then I was like, they're too crazy for the wallpapers that I chose. And then I ended up finding a perfect one for the double bed bedroom. But the other one I had to do a little compromising, because obviously I wanted to do just that type of bed, like that bed right there, not anything fancy. But I ended up going with this one, with ha which has like the little frame at the top and like the little princess drapes. I don't know what the princess drapes are called. Anybody want to tell me what they're called, please leave me a comment down below. And then since I was like, okay, well, I'm definitely going with the kids theme now. I may as well do a kid's wallpaper. And then I was just like, <laughs> I was really struggling with that room. And I really don't even know if I like how it turned out. And I do realize that um, that desk, I'm pretty sure you can't get through the door. I don't know. I don't know if I ever moved it. I'm like looking at it now. I'm like, oh gosh, I should probably learn to look at these things before. Now that's always how it works though. I will finish something. I'll be like, yeah, it's perfect. Everything's working. I tested everything. And then it'll be like, whoops. But like seriously, I think that that desk is too close to the door, but I'm not sure. You could just move it up maybe. Anyway, uh, I was just trying to find out what color I wanted to use and what ottoman I wanted to use for that. And then I decided to decorate it a little bit. I didn't want it to go too, too crazy again because I wanted it to kind of have the also the vacation aspect as well as the lived-in aspect. So we have pictures, so it makes it look lived-in. You can easily like delete the pictures and the posters and stuff and make it into... Um, It'd be an easy, like, vacation. Just slap it into the world and you'll be fine. <laughs> and then the kitchen. The kitchen. I love making kitchens. I don't know what it is. But it's, like, one of my favorite indoor rooms to assemble, to build. The dining part of the kitchen was a little bit of a struggle because we didn't have a lot of room. That's the problem I ran into very, very quickly. Because um, I wanted to have a nice little living space. I think I could have made the kitchen smaller. <laughs> In all honesty, we didn't need this big giant kitchen, but we do. We have a complete full-size kitchen. Uh, so we definitely didn't need that. And then we have a teeny, teeny, tiny little living space over here. But, you know, you got to think of it like, are you really going to do much chilling inside? Like, you're going to be going outside. You live up in the trees. You live up in the trees. You're not going to want to sit inside all day, right? <laughs> at least that's how I would look at it. 
so they have a nice little little seating area which could easily be switched around you know like put put the kitchen where the little little seating area is but yeah here is where I started struggling because I wanted to kind of go with the same furniture from base game as those couches or that couch and that table that I put in for the living space but colors don't match why that's that's just been an ongoing thing with the sims but like come on <laughs> Also, I forgot to furnish the kitchen, uh, like put in like microwave and stuff like that. I ended up uh, going back and doing that. Don't worry. But like the colors, you just can't get them to match. And it was really frustrating me, really frustrating me. So I just was like, all right, we'll get a new table. At this moment in time, I don't remember if we did get a new table or not. Yes. No, I don't. Yes. Yeah, we went with a whole different like little theme. And then, of course, I have the bistro table out here, which I love that I changed it to that more rustic looking one. And we have like little pots out there. It makes it look good. And then I changed those to the red ones because it just, I don't know. It just was a struggle, let me tell you. And then I was like, oh, maybe I can do something with this half wall. I Do I want this half wall here? But I needed some sort of separation from the kitchen and living room, which the living room is like pathetically teeny. <laughs> But hey, it's fine. It works out. Like, it's great for family time. And I'm just slapping in some lights here. Those, like, uh, mason jar lights are, like, some of my new favorite lights for some reason. And I tried my hardest to put something in that corner space. Guys, that was, like, the hardest thing I've ever done. I don't even think I put any... Did I even put anything there? It was just so ridiculous. I couldn't find anything because it's such a weird shape. And I could have flattened it out, but then it would have been in the way of the door, so it just was not working. Oh, there's a plant. Gotta put a plant in there. I should have left that bookshelf there. I think it would have worked, but I'm not sure if it would have or not. Anyway, I don't think I ended up putting anything there. I really don't think I did. But I did put in some uh, blinds. No, I didn't. I didn't put in blinds because I was like, oh, yeah, they live up high. They're fine. They don't need blinds. Like, what? <laughs> I did end up putting these in front of the bathroom windows, though, because you gotta have those. That's necessary. And I really wanted to use this right here, the, the like, fern thing. And I wanted to drape it across the sides, but it just wouldn't, I couldn't get it to go down there and it just was not working. And then I tried to put it there. I thought it looked really awesome. And then I went upstairs and found out it glitched through and there's just no way I could get it to work. So it was a nice try, but it just it wasn't, the game was not having it. And I was like, all right, touche game. You win this time. <laughs> Uh, so I started adding, I tried to add a lot more plants, but here we go. I think we're going to start putting in the trees and everything. It's official. We're going to start uh, the landscaping, which is, it just turned out so beautiful. Guys, I don't know. I I just love landscaping and builds. I love trees and plants and all that stuff. <laughs> like, honestly, if The Sims comes out with a pack called Trees and Plants, Although tree, trees are plants, but you know what I mean. I will probably freak out. I'd be like, oh my gosh, the best pack ever. <laughs> just just all trees and plants and flowers, like just everything. It would be it would be great, and I would be so here for it. Oh my gosh, I just loved it. I loved especially the tropical plants. I have banana trees. I've had banana trees, like when I lived in Pennsylvania, which is not a climate where you would typically find banana trees, I raised them anyway. <laughs> like, I was like, come here, banana trees. But luckily I live somewhere warmer so I can actually have banana trees like properly and not have to treat them special. Like I would have to dig them up and bring them in every winter and make sure they had light, make sure they had water and food. And it was just a big thing. Now they can actually thrive outside. <laughs> But that's that like I'm really happy about the tropical plants that all look so super good I'm just I'm, I'm really happy and then I decided to go with more of a stone Mailbox I was like that that normal one just looks so out of place and I was trying to hide it, you know, it didn't look right But I put banana trees there. I think it ended up turning out pretty decent not gonna lie And then of course I'm just adding in some terrain paint of like the dirt and moss and I think at some point I added a couple more things down there, like some, I think a tent and what else did I add? Oh, like that, that fountain with flowers in it. And of course we have to have a little bit of light. So, you know, when you come home, it's a, you have that little bit of light to light your path. Um, but yeah, I found the tent, I think as I was scrolling through decorations and then this, this fountain here with all kinds of stuff growing in it, I was going to put it upstairs. 
But I was like, no, because it would be something you find in the jungle. Like, things are growing and it. it's overgrown. And now I realized I forgot to furnish the kitchen. <laughs> I just threw a couple of things in here. Just the necessities. And then that's where I put the tent. It's not the working tent. It's just a decorative tent. I think they came with Get Famous. I thought it looked a lot better and more like, like it's been there a while. So we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of a tour. We do take a little bit of a tour of the down I'm gonna call it the downstairs of the jungle I think that oh, I love this I want to spend I would really want to spend like a couple days here I'm not I'm, or maybe like a lifetime here I don't I don't know <laughs> but I do love the addition of that fountain and this tent I think they really pulled everything together it definitely looks like it's been there a while and then we have you know all of the different plants and this ground cover I think the ground cover really made it it just made it look so wonderful um, I don't know where I'm going at this point. I think I'm going, am I going back? Didn't I go to the back? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. But it's a nice little walk through the jungle. Am I right? <laughs> I wish we had ladders. This is the point in which we had ladders. I know in Sims 3 we had ladders in the tropical expansion pack. Really want those. But who knows, maybe we'll get them soon. At the time I'm filming this, we definitely don't have ladders. Uh, but anyway, we are inside the house. I think the dining room actually looks pretty nice. Oh, I did put the succulents there. That's what I put there. Ha. Huh. Anyway, this bathroom, definitely hands down one of my favorite bathrooms. And I do love the open windows. Call me crazy. I mean, I especially since the plants are covering them, I think it looks really good. I really do. I don't know if I'd be confident to, like, take a shower in here, but, you know... <laughs> It's fine, we could always put up curtains later. And then skipping across the hallway to the kids' bedroom, which could just be anybody's bedroom. It doesn't have to be a kid's bedroom. You just take the paintings off the wall and that, that little desk out of there and you're fine. You're golden. And maybe the posters. But yeah, I'm not sure about that desk and the, 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 the door. I did not test that. I did not think that through. But <laughs> that's not that's not hard of a fiction. Just move it or move it or delete it or do whatever. Moving into this room over here, we have, you know, beautiful, I do, oh, I didn't realize I chose the tropical version of that painting, that's good. And of course we have our plant hiding in the corner over there. <laughs> can't forget the plant, guys, can't forget it. And then the bird paintings, which kind of look out of place, but it's fine. And then the wonderful big giant kitchen that we probably didn't need, and then this dining area. I do think the dining area turned out pretty good. As much as I struggled with it, it in the end, it, it was pretty good. And then, of course, we have our little living room area, and then we'll go out into the bistro balcony. I will be putting this up on the gallery to download. I will link that down below. My gallery ID is Oakluck, and you can go follow me over there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time.